Hello everybody, Hi. welcome to Live at Five on Wednesday, June the 8th with the most amazing special guest for you. Fun homes, Emily Skaggs, yay! Hey. Um, so we'll whip through the news so that Beth can then um, have, a, have a good chat with Emily. Okay, so the Tony Award performances have been announced. Uh, as expected, all Guess your favourites. Guess what, Hamilton is yeah. performing. Yeah. School of Rock, yes. She Loves Me, everybody. And also, Gloria Estefan and the cast of On Your Feet. Because although Fine. On Your Feet wasn't nominated, the Tony's like to be inclusive of the Just season. Just choreography for Sergio Trinidad. Well, we know, but I mean Best Musical. because No Best Musical, cool. but they're still yeah. going to perform and show. Exactly. Shake it. So Do we love that. Something like that. And now, talk me through, you did a photo, there was an opening last night, wasn't there? Yes, it's called A Funny Thing Happened on the Way to the... I'm never going to get Sloan this right. Sloan Kettering Memorial Ecological Ecological Oncology Department Memorial so that. Listen, Haley Pfeiffer wrote a play, Beth Bears is in it. They had their opening at the Lizzie Hotel last night. It has a really long title. Okay, something else happened last night, and it put social media, I mean, set social media alight. Yes. Harry Potter, ladies and gentlemen, had its first preview last night. Now, I'm just going to have a little bit of a in rant. London. In, in London. London. In London. Now, I'm just going to have a little bit of a rant about this. Oh, there were some okay. news organisations that, quite frankly, were very close to reviewing a first preview. Now, a first preview is a dress rehearsal. Quite frankly, most first previews, it's a miracle if they even manage to get through the show without I stopping. when you get fired up. I know, but it's just wrong. And then all these people, I, it's very annoying. Anyway, so we've done a fun roundup of, um, of, the, of Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, or Lindsay Sullivan. Without did. revealing any spoilers. Without revealing any spoilers, but it is fun. Um, and I think what we all know by now is that there are live owls who haven't quite got their, um, their, their, their stage directions in their heads yet. So they were I'm sure it'll happen. Sense, you know, it's the first preview. They need some more first rehearsal. Preview. It's all good. Anyway, but the buzz is extraordinary. So that's happening in London's West End, and I need to go home. Okay, right. You need to stay with me now about finding Neverland. Okay. okay, I'm with you. Paul Slade Smith has taken over the role of Charles Froman from Mark Kudish and Captain Hook. Yeah, that's a, sp that's a book. spoiler. But anyway, you can deal with that. Um, Dana Costello is now playing Mary Barry in, in Fertile, Fertile Wicks. Yeah. And also Tony Yazbek is going to come back into the show as J.M. Barry, replacing Alfie Bow on June the 10th. Uh, FYI everyone, as you all know, the production closes on August 21st. That was already announced. That was already it's announced. It's a lot of A lot of switcheroos going on, going on at Finding Neverland. Um, Ryan McPhee was doing some investigative reporting so today. So let's just clear this up about the Kickstarter with Spring yeah. Awakening. Spring Awakening did a Kickstarter to offset their cost. It cost the production to perform on the Tonys. They never said that they weren't going to be on the Tonys if they didn't make their Kickstarter. They, but anyway, all of that doesn't matter. They made their goal, so they're going to be able to offset those costs because, you know, the cast is mostly yeah. in L.A., and they will be performing on the Tony Awards, as you as you mentioned earlier. Yes. All the performances were announced today. Absolutely. Does that answer everyone's question? I think it hopefully, hopefully, hopefully it does. Okay, uh, Nathan Lane, hysterical video up on the site of Martin Short trying to hold him for ransom, and it wasn't really working. It's on that. It's on that Maya and Ru Ruja. Those two, come on, that's just, just comedy gold. Comedy gold. It's fun. Uh, odds and ends today, uh, leading it, the Skylar Sisters talk empowerment. Not the actual Skylar Sisters, the people that play them in Hamilton Yeah, musical. I know, but everybody knows musical. who I'm talking about. Yes, um, Tom Hardy musical, well it's not really Tom Hardy musical, he's in like one scene, but everyone's calling it that. London Road has got a US release, so look forward to seeing that in September. Mm -hmm. London Road, was, of course, was a big uh, musical in the UK, started at the National Theatre. Of course it was. So, yeah. you know Just that. saying, we'll be oh, intrigued. Of course, it's all about It's all about a British serial killer. I don't know. Anyway, whatever. Um, Kristen, Kristen Milioti uh, has landed uh, an FX pilot, which she's starring in and also wrote, so well done her. And I'm going to say this wrong. Are you going to... Can you... No. No. I'm sorry for saying this wrong. Anna Noguera... Noguera? Noguera. Noguera. Jennifer Kim and more are set for engagements off Broadway. There you go. That's it. How about that? Hey, Bye. It's really nice seeing you, and that's a lovely color on you. Bye. Bye. Emily Skagg, ladies and gentlemen, from Fun Home, the Tony-winning musical. Merch. She's going to get some applause. Ooh. Oh, wow. That's amazing. You know what this reminds me of? What? I feel like we should be like, dun 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 Hi, I'm Emily Skaggs. <laughs> Hi, Emily. No, then, you know you say your name. Oh. Hello, I'm Beth Stevens. And we're live at five. Yes, we are. Do I didn't know my that? line. No, but we're going to work <laughs> on that. Like because so much that's fun. <laughs> Look Hi. Here. Hey, everybody wants to, the sound is poor. I have my speaker. We'll talk really loud. Project. Can you project? She's got her teeth. Hello. 
That that's helpful. how they teach actors to project. That's right. You got. You were trained. I'm very trained. Mm -hmm. You're back in the fun home. I am back. Or as my mom calls it, fun house. <laughs> Um, I had somebody call it playroom the other day. Playroom! But no, it's fun home. You're wearing your button. I'm wearing my button. Which you two can get at the Circle and Square Theater. Nice plug. Thank you for merch. Merch is important. Very important. Hey, so you were, you were out for a little while. I was out for about four months. Being a TV star. Yeah. Um, what's the name of that show? So I am doing a little guest, uh, I did a guest role on this show called Salem on WGN. It's about the, the, the witch witches. trials. Mm -hmm. Crucible, scary, magical TV. witch trials. Mm -hmm. And then I did this great miniseries that's going to be on ABC in February called When We Rise. By Dustin Lance Black mm -hmm. of Milk fame. And yes. you play the younger Mary Louise Parker, right? I do. Yeah. Well, it must be cool. Did you get to hang out with her? I did a little bit. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of amazing. Did you mirror her mannerisms? So I, I'm, like Fun Home, I'm playing a prolific um, female political activist who's really Amazing. alive so I'm, you know I found my niche <laughs> real live kick-ass ladies um, I mean that's if you're gonna have one that's the one that's you the have. one to have yeah yeah so yeah so I play this this political activist Roma guy and I play mm -hmm. her uh, from 71 until about 81 and then Mary Louise takes over so we kind of got to do this great thing where we watch her and sort of figure out how we meet in the middle and 71 to 81 let's talk fashion I know Right? Amazing. I have this great bowl cut. Mm, There's some nice. like really great um, like turtleneck onesie situations going on. <laughs> That's all Lots you need. to look forward to. <laughs> but yeah. now you're back at Fun Home. Back at Fun Home. Family's back together. All the Allisons are there. Tonight is the 474th performance of Fun Home. That's amazing. And it's the 10th anniversary of the book. Wow. Today. It feels like just it's a big yesterday. day. It's a big day. It's a big day at Fun mm -hmm. Home. That's so cool. Can we, do we have a sound People for that? People want to know. Oh, do we have a, 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 sure. That feels, that feels unhappy. <laughs> How about this one? Yeah! yeah Ka-ching. Love it. So someone's asking if Fun Home's going to the West End. Oh my god, I would love it if Fun Home's, I would love that. So would the West End. So would the London Can artist. you guys help us make that happen? We'll have a kick, I'm not going to make that joke. Mm -mm. <laughs> Oh, Emily loves awesome. the hat. We love the hat. Thank you. We really love the hat. I uh, I love Indiana Jones. So I was talking to you before we came in here. You look like Indiana. I wish I had that button right here, like, like waiting, whip. like the, the yeah. theme song. Yeah. That would be amazing. But we were talking before about last year at this time, mm -hmm. you were getting ready to be a, you know, walk on the Tony red carpet. It was. I want to say, I've been doing this for a long time. I've interviewed a lot of Tony nominees, and you were very chill. Am I allowed to say that? Yeah. You, were, you seemed <laughs> relaxed. I don't know how you felt Thanks. on the inside, but you didn't exhibit the usual anxiety that I I really people. appreciate that. I, was it true, or was it, a, was it an act? I had a friend tell me that anxiety and like excitement are the same physiological response. So hmm. if you feel like anxious, sweaty and shaking. Yeah, like or you're also really Flutter. excited. Mm -hmm. So like you know, if you just tell yourself, I'm not scared I'm just really excited then oh make it positive yeah and it worked it doesn't always work but it worked on the Tonys yeah someone's yeah. asking about working with Judy Kuhn Aww. mama I love Aww. her she's amazing she's great Broadway legend yeah and, and a really good person and a good person and smart I, yeah. I will say that it really feels like the fun home family really loves each other it's true. Yeah, it's a really tight knit family. We started all exercising together in between shows <laughs> on Wednesdays and Saturdays. Wait, wait. Are there like yeah. headbands? Are there turtleneck onesies? There should be. There should be. <laughs> you know oh the time. We should get headbands. Because Cerberus would look amazing. Let's be real. Yeah. Hey, merch department, Circle and Square. We have an idea for you. Hello. <laughs> so, what kind of exercising? Like Pilates? What are you doing? Um, like you know. Siri, like Tabata, do you know Tabata? Yeah. Like push up stuff. You know what Tabata is? It's like, it's like a certain amount of time on and a certain amount of time off, right? Like so high intensity. Like intervals. Like um, jump squats for 30 seconds and then you stop. Even then... the children? No. Okay. No. All right, no. We have limits. But it's really it's nice. We did something the other day that was really fun where like one person is doing push ups and the other person has their legs and they're doing squats, like in a wheelbarrow thing. That's some togetherness. Yeah. With <laughs> a lot of yeah. togetherness. It's amazing. Sweating at the fun home. People are asking, what's the toughest part of your job? Uh, I, you know, 
Every day we have a new crop of people who come to see Fun Home, or people that are coming for a second or third or fourth time. And the show has to be fresh and new and, you know, alive for them every day. And so even when I come in in the morning and, you know, like I have a sore throat or I had an argument with my mom or something, I have to pull it together. It's not, you know, the show's not about me. It's about all of us and the story, so. Well, a long run like this, you really, it's about endurance, I think, and keeping it fresh for yourself. Yeah, yeah, but the book is so, the book and the music is so complex and deep that even after, you know, 474 shows, I still feel like every day I find something new. And you have one of my favorite songs, You Can't Get Sick of Changing Your Major to Joan. Hey, Come on. I love That's that the best. Song. It's such a good song. It's fun. What's your favorite part of the show, people are asking? Oh. Oh, that's, see, that's fun. Um, what's my favorite part of the show? I love when an audience comes and they have like a different reaction to something. I feel like people get uncomfortable during the show and giggle sometimes. Yeah, but it's weird. because But not because they think it's funny, just because they're, unco- they're just nervous or uncomfortable. Yeah. You know, it brings up a lot. It brings up a lot. And for some people, they laugh. For other people, like we have audible gasps. And other audiences are just silent. And you can never know. You can never like say. But they're not sleeping. They're listening. They're listening. Because you can see them. <laughs> you can. You can see them. We can see We can you. see them. You can see the people across. <laughs> we all see everyone. Yeah. You're being watched at Fun yeah. Yeah, it's, it's pretty crazy. Have your, oh, did your, this is an interesting question. Thank you, Amy Cook. Do you find your acting choices change depending on the children that are on that night? Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't interact with the kids that right, much. Right, but you got the but, energy in the room, right? But the energy, yeah. I mean, so our kids are consistent. They do all eight shows mm-hmm. a week. But, I mean, my energy changes depending on whoever is, whoever else is in. with me, mm-hmm. you know? Like, some days... You know, I'm tired and someone else is, like, amped up, and that their amped upness will, like, make me amped up. <laughs> it's all contagious. <laughs> it's contagious. <laughs> yeah. I like this thing. Thank you. That's our, that's our uh, date and weather. It's we a need very to know. technological Because thing. I went outside for 15 minutes today, and it was the most torrential part it's of the awful. day. Thank you. Thanks for the tea. You're welcome. It smells good. Yay. 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 So who's going to write the Indiana Jones musical? Hmm. Who should write the Indiana Jones right musical? Now. Someone's doing it right now. Really? Yeah, someone said, what was the first show you saw that inspired, inspired you to become an actor? I saw, um, I saw Guys and Dolls when I was four. <laughs> My parents... Really a show for a kid. I know, <laughs> I know. My parents took me to Guys and Dolls when I was four, and they had to convince the ushers to let me in. And then I saw it, and then for Who weeks, was in it? Which after Guys and Dolls did you see? It was the Nathan Lane. The Nathan Lane and Faith Prince one. And... For weeks, I sang Take Back Your Man Around the House. And my parents were like, what? what? <laughs> Would you ever want to be in that show? Yes. Yes. I want to be in that show. I want to be in Sunday in the Park. Oh. I want to. That's, that's a common, like, dream role. I Dot. mean, it's amazing. It's such a great it's role. It's amazing. Um, and, you, and you see yourself as a, as a Miss Adelaide? Or are you a Sarah Brown? I think I could do both. I think you could. You could alternate. You'd have to find someone else. Get a girl who can do both. That's that's amazing. Oh, She's yeah. got your you, when people ask you your range that you just <laughs> say I'm an I'm from Adelaide to Sarah Brown. That's, that's me. That's me. That's amazing. I also want to do um, Home Alone the musical. I want to play Macaulay Culkin. I mean, I can see if you do it. The, yeah. There's gonna be a whole I mean, song. If, if about. Need, if, I hope casting directors are watching right now because <laughs> there's your audition. <laughs> right. That'd yes. be great. Yes. Yeah. So what are you doing on Tony night? I don't know. We haven't decided. You know, the whole fun home crew. Is the gang going to watch it? Yeah, we've been trying to figure out how what we want to do. I mean, it's weird because it's such a huge part of the theater community. It is. It really is. But it's like, and you're obviously, you're in a long-running show. You're on Broadway, eight shows a week, all that stuff. Yeah. But then there's a certain crop of people that come in, and they're just going to all these events and doing that whole, you know. Yeah. You know. You did it. I did it. I did it. It's exciting. It's exciting. I want to, like, you know, be places and rep our show. Yeah. And Wear your button. Wear my button. <laughs> Such a nerd about buttons. <laughs> um, yeah, I, you know, I think it's important. You know, we're, we're on show 474, and we're going strong, and we're still here, and it's exciting. Yeah, all the long-running shows, I feel like, just want to celebrate this time of the year because all eyes are on Broadway. It doesn't matter if you're nominated or if you won, like the Fun Home did. It's not the Fun Home, but I call it that. Yeah, it's yeah. Fun. You can call it that. The fun home. I 
like to do that. Just add a little the. the Come Hamilton. to the fun home. The wicked. Doesn't matter. The Doesn't she matter. loves me. What was your favorite thing about Emerson? Oh, people know about your life. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're, you're. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They do. <laughs> That's not news. Um, Emerson. You know, I double, I, I sort of double majored. I was in the honors program, so I got to make my own major. So I studied Science. theater and writing. And that was my mm-hmm. favorite part. I think it's really important that you... You could write the Home Alone musical. I'm just saying. Wow. Just blew you my just mind. blew my mind a little bit. I should write the Home Alone musical. Um, it's really kind of violent. I actually just rewatched that movie with my kids. It's, it's really violent. violent. They were like, um, why are they still walking when they should be dead? I'm like, yeah, I know. I know. Yeah. Just go with it. Good call. It's a cartoon. It's like a cartoon. Yeah, the bowling ball thing would be a little bit hard. I wonder if we would do like... Um, you know, a phantom with the big, the big chandelier. Like a chandelier moment, but like, home alone. Yeah. yeah. I like it. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Emerson, wherever you study, wherever you go, make sure you study lots of different things. Make sure if you want to be an actor, you also study directing so you understand. Be well-rounded. Yes. You know, understand what you're doing. It's a collaborative art. Do you like my mind? I like that. I don't know if you're doing the... Like, I'm not doing it right. You're getting ready for the ball chandelier situation. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. What's happening? Um, We gotta go, but go. Yeah, that was really fast. This is like across the street, so come back. Okay, hang out with us, have some tea. Tea time. Look, it says Broadway.com on this side. Very small lettering. It's a it's a very small. Yeah, yeah. This is not at the merch table at Circle and Square. That's okay. But this is. Yeah, you can get your (laughs) you can get your playroom button. Yes, playroom. (laughs) That show Playroom. Well, thank you so much anyway, for having me. Anyway, it's a great me. show. Emily's amazing. Thanks. She's got my favorite song. One of them. I mean, there's like, I there know. are a lot of there's it. Great songs. song after a great song. Thanks. It's such a good show. Thanks. Hey, you guys. See you tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.